2025 was a great year. I moved to the Thailand with family, built in the app developers community, which makes something like 2k in a month. My apps made something like $40,000 in a year. And I did that all while freelancing full time. So it's not bad. I made a little bit more money than last year. But the trick is that I was working significantly more. I spend much more time working, building new businesses, launching new applications, and made a little bit more money. And yeah, can't complain. Generally, that's good, but um, could be better. So let's break down what was working well, what was not so well, what I would change, and what I will do differently next year. Okay, let's start with what went well, because things did go well. I actually moved my family from Latvia to Thailand. I was talking about doing something like this for years. You know how it is. You keep saying someday and someday never comes. We did the moving in six months. That basically was decision to move in January, then planning, and we landed in Bangkok in July. And in costs, it was something like close to 20k. That includes everything, visas, flights, deposit for home rent, uh, first half of the year for kids' school, everything. Growing on YouTube was decent, nothing crazy, but we got to the 45,000 subscribers, that's something like 8,000 subscribers plus in a year. Depends <laughs> what you compare with, you know. There are channels who are getting to 100k in a year. There are channels who are struggling to get any views. So, whatever. It is what it is. Decent. So, overall I would say that things went well, right? We have community which making something like, let's say, 18k in a year. We have apps which are making something like 40k in a year, YouTube, some affiliate links, altogether something like 60k in parallel to freelancing, so like side income. Not bad. Come on, Kav. Thank you. Perfect pit stop for breakfast. Not healthy, but always helps. So generally, yeah, it looks nice, but here is a catch. This 10k plus from last year is not coming from nothing, that's coming from community. So, but if community makes something like 18k, so what happened with apps? Yeah, apps are making less money than last year. Last year it was 50k, this year only 40k. Why? I will say multiple reasons. I spend less time working on applications. Again, why? Moving to the Thailand, of course, that took a lot of time and energy, but also, I spend a shitload of time on community. I'm running two of them. One is free community, another one is paid community. Paid community has multiple courses. I run two cohort trainings, so that's a lot of preparation work, presentations, live calls, lessons for courses, and so on. That takes a lot of time, and obviously, I spend way less time working on my application. Also, a few applications that I launched, I just launched and, it, and I didn't do any marketing for them as well. So, those apps just, I will say, flap it. Nothing happened. No revenue from them. And yeah, sure, we can fix that and we will fix that in the next year. You get the whole half by one day. Okay. Thank you. This will be a nice clean climb. On paper, everything looks kind of nice because we got extra 10-ish K. So we, about 18 K is coming from community and we lose about 10 K from the apps. On paper, that looks nice. But the problem is that I traded 10 K semi-passive revenue to 18k. Very active, very time consuming revenue because running two communities is a lot of effort. Am I planning to shut down communities? No, because I really enjoy to have 
possibility to be around with other indie developers, help them to get where I am and beyond. Am I planning to make it like my mind, serious business, which is also possible, you know? I could, I could double down my effort on those communities, push out more content, more courses, and so on, and multiply my revenue from those. But that's not what I really want to do. It's not my goal. Oh, check this out. Six guys, isn't it? So yeah, obviously I could double down on courses, community and so on, and make that as my mind business. But that's definitely not something I want to do. You know, imagine I just almost do not do app development anymore and just focusing on teaching others. I will become one of those kind of teaching gurus who telling you how to do stuff without doing stuff. Buy my course, how to get rich, you know, <laughs> to make me rich. There are plenty of gurus like that on YouTube in every niche. I don't want to become one of them. So, but the solution for community, I already decided and made changes. I'm shutting down free community because it kind of doesn't make sense to run two communities. And I'm switching my paid community to freemium. What this freemium model means for community? So you can get in completely, absolutely for free, pay nothing, just click join button and you're in. You're around the other indie developers. You can share your lessons, wins, fails, everything. Learn from others, support each other. But for those who would like to be on weekly calls, for those who would like to be on, get support, more hands-on, personalized support when I'm looking on your up on your problem and offer solution that's paid feature that's premium part of the community i think that will help me to save time spend less time on communities while still maintaining free community for freemium members and provide support for paying members. We'll see how that will work, but that's basically what I'm planning to do in 2026. And will that decrease revenue from communities? Yes, I think so. I think I will make less money from communities on, or in best case scenario, same amount of money because there is less reasons to join paid community because you can get there in for free, right? So I think I will make less money. Do I care about that? No. Because my goal is not to make money from community. My goal is to make money from apps and share insights on the go. Income from community is nice side income and I will keep it like that. Here is a little bit of motivation for hikers. Your health is still strong. It is. We are going to that cave. Okay, let's talk about YouTube analytics. I have to peek in data. So I posted a lot more shorts this year and those shorts got half million views, which is kind of quite a lot. Guess how much revenue you can get, how much how much ad money you can get on half million views on shorts. I got $62, <laughs> which is nothing. 
So if your focus is YouTube ad revenue, shorts doesn't make any sense. And yeah, you can cross post them on Instagram, TikTok, but if your account is in Latvia, like mine, you're getting zero money there. But for me, reason to post this short form content is two reasons actually. One for fun, another one is downloads for my mobile apps. So basically I will I will keep doing those next year, but yeah, if you are looking on the revenue side of short form content, there is no sense to create it. And subscribers, how many subscribers convert from short form content? Almost no one. All the subscribers on channel are coming from long form videos, vlogs, programming videos and so on. Streaming, that's also a funny thing. 160 hours streamed this year, YouTube Twitch kick, and combined revenue is something like $350, which is $2 in an hour. <laughs> well, again, less than minimum wage. Oh, check this out. Anyone with medical condition, please consider your ability before entering. While looking on last year's results, I got into thinking about fun part of the year as well. Because it's not all about money. And yeah, last year was a lot of work. Between two communities, indie apps, freelancing, moving to the Thailand, that took a lot. And I didn't plan too much time just for fun. I'm starting to change it now. I already started to ride again motorcycle. We are going on to the weekend trips. And I even started playing games again. So I'm thinking that Streaming from financial perspective doesn't make much sense, but as a hobby to hang out with you friends in real life kind of conversations with chat, with the real life chat while I'm streaming, that's fun. And so I started to play video games on stream. Here we go. Check this beauty out. Amazing. It's huge. And we have a temple inside. It's amazing. This actually is a front of the temple. It's looking insane. It's looking insane. This place is insane. So, what are lessons learned from all that I just covered? Maybe some lessons for you and some plans for me for next year. So diversification for income is good. In my case, I'm doing freelancing and building my own apps, which is more or less the same. Still, both of them are programming. And that's something that I highly, highly recommend to everyone. If you are doing programming as a job, is it full-time job, is it freelancing, doesn't matter. Start to build your own product make revenue from those. That's perfect way how to make multiple revenue streams, be less dependent on your salary. Oh my gosh, this angle is also so good. Uh, in my case, this community thing kind of, let me say so, I will not 
recommend that and I will not do that just for money because it takes a lot of time yeah you can make decent money but again so I don't know something getting in a way you know freelancing upbuilding I don't know I just don't have time for everything and then I start to feel that mm -hmm, I'm not kind of doing my best in community or I'm not doing my best building applications so you just can't do that all <laughs> yeah listen about shipping applications just releasing application is not proper up launching uh, relying on just app store search optimization doesn't work well in 2025 I don't think it will be a thing in 2026 marketing becomes more and more important and I see that when I did short form content for my productivity applications like habit tracker focus timer I'm getting downloads for my motorcycle application I did very few posts I got very few downloads so that's definitely changing in 2026 all of those people who are coming now are a little bit too late sun is already going away and I can listen about fun part of the life as well. Do not forget one thing. You can always, always make more money, but it's really hard to make more time for yourself, for your family, for everything. So it's fine if you are in your 20s and just grinding, you know whatever to the first million or something or to get to the 100k subscribers on youtube which i would like to get thank you if you're a subscriber or if you are grinding to get to 10k 100k in a month whatever is your goal it's fine it's okay to set goals it's okay to grind to get to those goals but the problem is that often when you get to this goal for, for example, for me, the goal was to get out of the corporate job, start freelancing and enjoy life more, travel more. I do that now. Then my goal was to start earning from my own apps. I do that now. Then my goal was to get to the 5K in a month with my apps. Not here yet, but trying. So the tricky part with goals is you always will have next goal. That just do not get, you know, into this endless run from one goal to another. It's fine to set goals, it's fine to work hard to get to them, but do not forget to enjoy the life. So, that's my suggestion for you in 2026. Work hard, but have fun as well. And that's basically what I'm planning to do as well. Woo! Today is December 31. Dark and cold back in Latvia. It's nice and warm here. That was amazing decision to move to Thailand. Really, really enjoyed it. If you can, if you can do that, do that for winter or at least for a few months. Amazing weather. Amazing sun, amazing water, food, people, everything is great here. Our decision in 2025 to move to the Thailand was the best. We are six months here. I still really, really enjoy it. Happy New Year. Reach your goals, whatever it is. And yeah, do not forget to have fun. See you in the next one.